this is against you know what I was taught in my younger days and how we did it whereas you always plattered things flat and black. I didn't do this kind of shoveling a few years back but I do not think would have found this amount of worms. We never really recognized soil health and conservation. Yields were the number one thing, but it's still, you, you gotta have it. In 2010 and in 2019, we seen some floods come by here that the water out of the river was probably less than 100 feet behind us. And you asked some of the old timers, have you ever seen this before? And they said, no. Well, that told us that the landscape is changing. I bought this farm in 92, and I think probably our, 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 most, our most enjoyable journey the last 10 years has been this whole cover cropping thing. What really brought my attention to this whole thing was I was on the town board for 30 years, and when we seen road ditches fill up with black dirt, you ask yourself why? It was all coming from soil erosion. It's tillage practices and heavy rain events and that sort of thing. We found out, you know, maybe we don't need to put all those inputs in the ground. Maybe we need to better utilize what we have there. You just need diversity. Corn and soybeans are not diversity. We started adding some legumes to that, some cool season grasses, some water season grasses, some brassicas to that whole picture. Then you just see soil biology come alive. You can go to a, a conventionally tilled soil and you'll probably struggle to find an earthworm. You can go out into some of these fields and that's nothing to turn over one shovel full of dirt and pick out half a dozen worms out of that thing. For a dairy farmer, for me, the challenge is you're always taking everything off the land and replacing it a lot of times with liquid products. So that's been a, a challenge just to keep that soil right where it is. And that's where this cover crop stuff has really helped us out and the no-till. Soil health, the first time I heard about it was maybe only eight, 10 years ago. And I, I just kept saying to myself, you know, let's just worry about keeping the soil in place first. The soil health plays into stopping the erosion. It's what makes no-till work. When you go to no-till, you need something doing the tillage and the moving the nutrients around. And soil health is all those critters down below. That's where the diversification in crops and that added manure is a real plus. I first came here, the soil was pretty clay and the hilltops were all washed. It takes a long time to build up soil, believe me. It's you know, rotating and alfalfa. And if you just have one field farms, you kind of lose the diversity of sheep, cattle, garden, bees, trees, what have you. Sometimes I'm out there, I go, that's too steep. That's gotta be put back into hay or these fields can be together without adverse effects for erosion. That should be a waterway. You know, that rain came down there, the snow melted, you go, geez, I've gotta move it back over. So, you know, you, you change from year to year. I think you can come out just fine with conservation. I, I raise just almost as good of crops as any, you know, for, for what the land is. You can't have goals that are not applicable for your land. When you can eliminate four-wheel drive tractors and huge tillage pieces, and you can get yields that are equal, why own that equipment? Why run that equipment? Why insure it? Why maintain it? When you, when you can do it with plants. It opened my eyes quite a bit agronomically that we needed to improve on. And I think it works for us. Soil and Water Conservation Districts in Minnesota has been around for 80 or 90 years. Southeast Minnesota, our main focus of conservation practices come in the form of structural practices such as earthen dams to grass waterways. The non-structural practices, we, we have things like cover crops that we promote. We also have programs that uh, help landowners reduce tillage on their farms. When you go to SWCD, they know all the soil types around the county. You know, their, their roadability, their, their ability to absorb water, they can point you in the direction, try to use the resources they have to prevent that stuff. How many people are there to talk about no-till dairy farming? So they have the expertise to develop the project for you and get it done. It's a good organization, the Soil and Water Conservation District. They want what's best for the land also. We try to make conservation easy. If you got questions about soil health, you got questions about a gully in your field or manure storage, just come in and ask. We got people there willing to help and that's, that's what we love to do.